He will mount up and swoop like an eagle and spread out his wings against Basra. And the hearts of the men of Edom in that day will be like the heart of a woman in labor. When I ask you to circle the Red Sea, the Red Sea, it's called Elab. E-I-L-A-T. This is the maximum south of the actual land of Israel. Elat is the maximum south of the actual land of Israel. I've been there. It's beautiful. It's on the sea. When you look across, this is Basra. So from Elat to Jerusalem, from Elat to Jerusalem, it's about 200 miles. So this is my favorite view. So the battle ends in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. This is the end of the seventh stage. I, I won't have to borrow very much because H is very quick. The eighth stage and last, because there is no more stage on your page 15. We will start a new section after the period of question next week. Janet, would you be kind enough to remind me of the question? Even if the people don't have any, I will allow for a time. Capital H, the victory ascent up to the Mount of Olives. Come with me in Zechariah chapter 14. Come with me in Zechariah, you go to Matthew, you go to Malachi, and then you fall in Zechariah chapter 14. Zechariah chapter 14, that's what we call the victory ascent. Vida, once again, it's an important passage to look at when you have the question you formulated last week. Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 14, verses 3 to 4a, meaning the first part of the verse a of the first four. Then Jehovah will go forth and fight against those nations as when he fights on that day of battle. Okay, this is one part. In that day, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, which is in front of Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives will split in its middle from the east to the west by a very large valley, so that half of the mountain will move towards the north and the half towards the south. We will discuss the part B later in the course of the study. Once again, when I ask you to go to Zechariah chapter 14, the two verses that I just read for you, that's the most used passage by pastor teacher or pastor to show the second return on the Mount of Olives. But notice something, only after verse 3, that his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives. Because coming to the tents of Judah first, he's going to make a quick ascent. So verse 3, there is no gap in the text, but only after verse 3 of Zechariah chapter 14, then he makes the ascent to the Mount of Olives. Look at 12.7 again. Come... Don't lose your 14, because it was an important passage, but you don't remember, because it's been a lot of scriptures. Let's go back to chapter 12, verse 7. The Lord also will save the tent of Judah first, so that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem will not be magnified in Judah. Come there, go up there. We call it an ascent, because every time that you go north, and every time that you go towards the temple, that's what we call an ascent. Come with me in Revelation 16, Revelation 16, 17 to 20. You have seen the mountain to the north, the mountain to the south. Okay, let's keep in mind that God, five minutes, created the heavens and the earth, not in six hours, but in six days, not in millions of years. We have a God very much capable of creating all these things in six seconds. He has chosen days, and I like it. And the days start with the evening and finish in the morning, in the Jewish reckoning. So we, are, we have a God very much capable. So now what we will do in Revelation chapter 16, 17 to 21, we will pour bowl Number seven. You're not excited very much, I think, eh? 
to at least pretend to be, make a smile or something. It's going to encourage me. Then the seventh angel poured out his bowl upon the air, and a loud voice came out of the temple from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were flashes of lightning and sounds and peals of thunders, and there was a great earthquake such as there had not been, I need to turn the page, since man came upon the earth. So great an earthquake was it, and so mighty. The great city was split, split into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. Babylon the great was remembered before God, uh, was remembered before God to give up the cup of the wine of his fierce wrath. And every island fled away. I hope that Vancouver Island will go away too. And the mountains were not found. And huge hailstone, about 100 pounds each, allegorize it the way you want, came down from heaven upon men. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, because its plague were exceedingly severe. Greatest earthquake ever reckoned in the time of man. The Mount of Olives will be split in two, and then there will be a change of surface on the crust of the planet. The highest peak will no longer be Mount Everest in India. The highest peak, the chief mountain, will be Mount Moriah. And the land will advance. Basically, there will be a chunk of the land of Israel advancing into the Mediterranean Sea. So God, it will be so terrible that the second coming of Christ and bowl number seven will change the surface of the crust of the planet. It's not a small event, far from being in a cave in Bethlehem. Are you, are you ready? Don't say yes, please, because I won't believe it. No, we're not. I prefer this than yes. Because you will be accounted for for your yes. We are not ready. I prefer this. It's a national confession of the church. I'm serious about it. I'm asking you and I want you to answer. Are you ready? No, we're not. Period. According to my humble point of view, I wish I would be wrong. But I'm afraid to be right. We look at this, oh, I have a deal, you know, I'm going to die before this rapture is come. Lots of fun. Last night when I was on with Elisa, her husband had came in and said, Vancouver Island is moving. And I said to her, where? And she, and she asked her husband, and he said, towards Vancouver. Oh, really? That's why I want to relocate, because I know that this island, will, and I, no. Because Just it would, it would mean that I would left behind. So that doesn't work. It's not a proper theology. Beloved, turn the page in page 15. Next week, the, the, the 75 day interval. We're done. We are done with number 12. And again, it's probably not in sequence of other. Because what, what, you, what we just did from A to H is impossible to put in perfect chronological order. So just respect what you have heard, do your own research, uh, enlarge, and I repeat what I said a long time ago. One cannot get a healthy knowledge of revelation without studying the Old Testament. It's necessary to understand the prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, the Twelve, and, and more, to pinpoint things that these guys saw thousands of years ago, could not explain it. They wrote it down perfectly in the original without one mistake, only in the original, let alone the King James. King James is only a translation. I wish that could G King Jimmy would have been saved. It would have been nice. Anyway, this is it for tonight. And... Uh, God bless you and thank you for the seven Questions? minutes that I owe you. Questions? Yeah, right now, yes, yeah, sure. What, a quick one, yeah. Oh, um, elate, you say, we're saying elate is, uh, that was in a reference in, a, in an Old Testament uh, book. Uh, and, and I started to read it, but then I went to a different place and I forgot where that was. 
but it, and it, and it was starting to say that Ilate is the is the southern part the, of the maximum south of the Holy Land now. As soon as you pass Ilat, you get into the uh, Sinai Peninsula. Write down your questions. I will basically answer some uh, 